Hello, good afternoon. Hi, everybody. Are the comments working? I don't see any comments. I don't see any comments. What's going on? Oh, hola. Hello. Hello, San Antonio. San Antonio. Hi, Julie. Hi, Kathy. Oh, you said no comments. Now they're all coming in. Happy birthday. Hi. Yes. Okay. Happy Bye. Birthday. Bye. Oh. <laughs> hey, bye. <laughs> Is it? Are you doing that? I'm trying to highlight the comments. Hi, Byron. Happy birthday. Hello, everybody. Okay, everybody's rolling in. There was something yes. delaying everybody. Yeah, like, oh, nobody's here. That would be, we would be alone, stuck in this room. Eileen, Susan. Aloha. Aloha. That's the name I have to slow this down. Some new names here. So thank you for joining us today, guys. This is our regular time. Tuesday and Friday, we do cook, cookie decorating live. I'm Marlene, and this is Tanyala. Yes, well, hi. Thanks Ooh. so much for joining us. Sydney, Chicago. Chicago. We have so many people. That's awesome. Thanks for joining us. Happy birthday to your daughter, Jennifer. Yes, so yes. Marlene is in a hot seat. Whew, it's smoking behind her. Yes, I wonder what she came up with today. Okay, so uh, this month, I decided to go with a the theme this month, and this month it's been airbrush. And so if you want to watch the previous live stream, I did a live last uh, last Friday, I think. We talked about, so what did I do last Friday? <laughs> I okay, you, you, you think about that. I have a uh, highlight of my day. We are matching and it's not planned. <laughs> <laughs> and, purple. Yeah, purple and it's not planned. She actually said we are not matching. And then I was like, yes, we are. Purple. <laughs> so, oh, we land. Eileen or Eileen, thank you. I'm glad you like it. So, what did you do last Friday? I'm trying to think. Guys, um, remind me. What did I do last week? I, I really. What I'm have you done? Oh, I know. You did this. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> I talked about colors, and we did do a project, though. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. You guys, if you want to watch the last live, you can check it out. And then I did another live before that about the supplies. So today, uh, there was a question um, last week about uh, silk screen stencils. So I'm just going to quickly talk about silk screen stencils like super fast. So this is, these are letters, obviously. And if we examine these stencils very closely, you can see there are little areas. So let's focus on, let's say the V here. I'm gonna zoom in on these particular letters. So if you zoom in on these letters, you can see that to hold the, the, the bubbles inside the B or the triangle inside the A, when you make a stencil, you have to have little segments of material of the plastic to hold that in place, okay? Those are called bridges. So if you're using a silk, a silk screen stencil, those little, little triangle and the little b they're being held by a mesh okay and i'm going to turn on my camera to show you guys i have some here i don't have a letter of silk screen oh, sally's been airbrushing ever since that's <laughs> great illness. it's with a wonderful illness to have i guess uh terrible thing to say but better than real illness so oh, yeah, please. Please. What is? thank you diane so you can see here, like this, this is mesh. There's no, um, like this is all like level. There's no little pieces that are gonna come up. This is mesh. If you were to use a little uh, microscope to look at this, oh, you the, the honey, you know, your screen, your screen, okay. You'd see that there's a very fine mesh in there and it's an emulsion that they put. It's kind of like a paint, if you will. And then with UV light, it solidifies. And it's a process to make silk screen. And here, this one is a nice one. Oh, I love this. This would be fantastic for, for Christmas. Or yeah, you just want to put yeah, green or gold or something. Perfect. And then this one here, see, these are usually designed for cakes. Oh, so this is nice. designed to go along a cake. So it's kind of big for cookies. But this is basically it. So uh, could, you, could, could you use it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, as a transfer? And then break it up, and then you know, like when you sometimes you use yeah. pottery, you use pottery, like pieces of pottery to create mosaic or something. I have to say that it's not that; it's quite bubbly. It's 
quite like bubbly when I touch it. Like it's not like I like can see very that. I can see that. this one's bubbly. This these are all from AliExpress. If you were to buy these um, at a local um, kind of cake supplies, they're ex very expensive. But if you get them from AliExpress, they're they're still expensive but reasonable. And so that's so what it is. The big, big, how much would that be? Fifty dollars. This oh, the me. Big no, no, oh, not no. From AliExpress from thirteen dollars. But from okay, that's from AliExpress. But for from the other like uh, non yeah, AliExpress like up there, yeah, up around there. 50, Yeah, I would say yes. Yeah, so you can look at them and check it out and see. But they're you know they're it's just a different and so airbrushing they work really well with royal icing. It's a bit trickier because. The material is not transparent. So when you want to look at placement, it's difficult to see through it. Then if you have to wash it, well, then it's very it's different than drawing a piece of plastic. You can tap it with a paper towel. This seems to hold a little bit of water. It's not like a, mm -hmm. like a dish towel, but it, it's just a not ideal with icing, I find. Mm -hmm. If you're uh, use an oven at low, low temperature with a fan on, no, you, you wouldn't, it would melt. You could, and it would you could like, ruin them potentially. Ruin the thing them. about these is that the, the cake ones, you can cut them. You can cut them to make them cookie size. So let's say like this one here was actually, I cut it in two. And so you end up with two if you want to rotate them. I use this. If you look on my Instagram, you'll see a dress. I use this on a on a like a, like a kind of peachy colored dress, and I airbrushed in black. It's very nice because it's difficult to get lace stuff right in stencils, so the silk screen works really well. Yeah, that's right, Sally. You oh, remember? Yes, I remember that was actually two years ago. I remember that. Well, I have it in the fast videos. Okay, so for today's project, here it is. Do Ooh, I know this what is this cool. is? So I'm not a super uh, uh, informed on the hamsa, but it is a popular design for many cultures. It is uh, something to do with protection, the eye of protection. So is this, so this, is, is this a, ha a hand of sword? It, it is the hand of protection i think it's called it's a hand of protection yes so the please, please let us know in the comments you can do a quick search and let us know uh the meaning and what you find or if well know, i had to, done a little research with regards to our audience and we have a lot of people watching us from morocco and from kind of like you know africa and different and that's very popular there so i thought i'd do something a little different we just did bunnies for our culture so i thought i'd throw something out there for the you know the other nationalities and other kind of you know yeah, uh, morocco is here very close so i am planning on doing something also there's a lot of uh, so just to show you for, for so there it is okay there's the the undecorated cookie so you can see it's quite large when you're wanting to do a lot of little detail like this, it's very difficult on a small, small cookie. So it is on the big side, but these this would be kind of something that you would gift, you know? And so the point of this particular project is I want to show how when you this, use your uh, this, 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 okay. Sorry to interrupt. This, no? this shape, is this an actual cookie cutter that you got no, or did you cut. hand cut? Okay, so you, were, you did hand cut. Beautifully hand cut, beautifully hand cut. So that's because I did frozen dough. <laughs> <laughs> we had an off-camera discussion about that, so that's why. And Han, Han ha prefers just chilled. I prefer frozen. I find that I mean, really it's, yes, ch ch like, yes, it's like not completely frozen. I find it very hard to cut through. It's like, you know. I know, you know, it's a workout. It's not long that it kind of starts melting. It, it does, it does start, yes, towing a bit. bit. So oh, here, yes, Julie, it does look like a, an ear of corn, a little bit. Yes. Oh, yeah, if I remove oh that, yes, Julie. you you could definitely use that. It's fantastic. Yeah. All right, so I designed the stencil, and the stencil is basically doing two things it's giving me my guidelines and decorating the cookie all at once so we're going to start with the yellow color hello mary jean hello mary jean hello so, everyone who is who is joining us today if you got hello. here after we said hello 
the the um, the plastic it's nice to use a plastic that you can see through because you know you're layering uh these little areas and you want to be able to see how everything lines up and the other little i have another little secondary stencil here that goes in the middle just because i want to have the eye remain white and so i'm just weighting that down these are little magnets and it's because the airbrush makes wind and so it'll blow stuff around this is my pink so if you don't if you're new to my uh methods i have several airbrush guns and i use one for each color and so i buy i have like five or six and i have them all there ready to go instead of having to wash them out but if you plan you can kind of work with one but if you look at the previous live two two lives ago you'll see my explanations of like things you could buy to make your one unit work for multiple colors okay so now i'm working in yellow and i'm adding my yellow elements and so i cut a stencil for each color okay and so if you know anything about um like the color wheel you understand that if you were to do yellow parts and then cut them for your blue layer well certain parts you could have them be green so if let's say you were to cut the same hole in your blue and yellow portion you could quickly have green and then you'd only need three airbrushes right and then you could have your purple your purple done with the pink and blue areas being cut at the same time here let me just now if you want at this point you could come in and shade stuff but i'm going to do my my stencil layering thing and the the stencil does get like if you want to like shoot as mildly as possible because if it's really heavy then it takes longer for, for it to dry and then when you kind of move your stencil well, you end up mucking it up like it, it kind of sticks to the cookie, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you look at your design. Hi, Jeremy. So if you look at the design here, you can see I've got kind of cut where the yellow is. And so that's going to be uh, orange. Oh, my goodness. I see a mouth. I don't know why I'm like, I'm like thinking in the monster. Uh... You're seeing I, I, see, I see Halloween. I don't know why. You are creating another like multi purpose. And so here I'm hitting my pink oh, areas. Mm -hmm. And this is pink, huh? Yes. And you see now here, this becomes orange because of the yellow underneath. We are glad you could join us, Jeremy. There. I don't know why I'm shouting. Like, Sorry. And my my flower. Oh, you, you know what I see? Okay, seriously. Now you know what I see. You know when where you have the two magnets? That's where the eyes are. I see the eyes. Where the eye is, it's the mouth. And the pink things are the cheeks. It's got a bit of a Day of the Dead vibe of the skulls, you know? Yes, that is true. A little yes. bit. Hello. Good morning. Hi, Olga. Hi, Elizabeth. And now I'm moving, this is going to be the blue area. So now whatever's pink, um, like when I go over with my um, my blue, it's gonna be purple. And if I get the blue on top of the yellow, well, I'm gonna have green. So just to show you, I'm showing like different, the like the these leaves, you see those? You had, you had to think about that beforehand. I right? had to do a lot of thinking. My brain was strained, yes. <laughs> So now this is blue. It stays blue here. These are like little petals. And then on the flowers, that will be purple. And I can see you are just really misting it. You're not going heavy at all. No. It's like Heather says, it's sort of like painting your nails. It's better to do a couple of light coats than one heavy coat. Yes, absolutely. And you see, I'm gently like airbrushing over the yellow and they become green leaves. You see? I wasn't perfectly aligned on my center little bit here. I'm just gonna nudge it over and re-hit my little petals. You can get pretty like precise if you're close. 
the diameter of the like the the jet is not that big. We have any questions, Dan? No, everybody's just I think mesmerized by it all. Beautiful. And so this is a, I did do a green layer just to um have a different shade of green. Hold on a second. I did have it sitting here for a little bit. And of course, in true live fashion, it's going to be temperamental on me. Oh. Oh, here, let's just you try. It. It's going to flash. You see how it's spitting? Instead of giving me a nice... Oh, look. did you just do that? Oh. Well, it, it'll give a different effect. We'll see how it looks. But it did, it did spit. But like sometimes it's not, you know, it's not ideal, but sometimes it actually can like work if you're doing, let's say like jewelry, stones, stuff like that. It is nice, the spitting, a speckled egg, let's say, right? I'm going to hit it with some yellow to kind of give my coverage. All right. So now we have the design on the cookie with the color done. Boom. So we had only one color of icing. We used white. And now this is decoration, but it's also um, my guidelines. So now I'm going to know exactly where to pipe because of these, inf like it becomes information as well. And now I have a small piping tip. I have a 1.5. I'm just pressing my button here so that I can save the file because I've been um, filming for a bit. So I'll give it just two seconds for it to load up the, the information. And how large is the cookie? You would say the, the length? Oh, it's uh, six inches wide and seven inches tall. It's beautiful gift, right? Like nicely packaged, like just one, right? One cookie makes for a really beautiful gift. Yes. And you can um, pair it with little daisies or little uh, leaves, you know? So Eileen, I don't usually uh, ship uh, physical products, but I do sell the, um, the digital files. I didn't, yesterday's Easter day off through me, so I didn't get all my uh, stuff ready for today. But I will be adding it to my um, to my shop, and so here now I'm just outlining the hand here at the bottom, and I like to like lift my piping bag up so that the line can fall. I find that it gives a nicer line if you let the line drop out. It comes out of the piping bag like a like a string of spaghetti. So if you let that spaghetti fall can kind of maintain the round shape better than if you're super close, it like will get a little jagged, you know? So I'm connecting there and then I'm just going to outline that little kind of diamond shape that I had created. And so this decoration, now I don't need a projector or anything. I know where everything's supposed to go. There is a slight seam in some cases between the colors, but as soon as you fill it in with this black line, all that is hidden. And you can use a black marker. Let's say you're not comfortable with the piping bag. You can use a marker. And if you um, look at last live stream, I showed with a Marie cookie I was outlining the design. So this is really the same concept. If you watched me do the Marie cookie, it's the same concept. Well, Jeremy, I see you having a, a lot of a lot of work there. So um, thanks for joining us and just hopefully, you know, what we do takes the edge off your stressful day. This is so this, really relaxing. 
the center leaf here, I don't have information per se, but I know I want to do these lines. So you do, you know, you can do like part of it from your mind if you want to come in and do different little elements. Oh yeah, did anyone, how was everyone's Easter? I didn't even ask, a happy belated Easter. But how was the Easter? Oh yes, uh, we, we used to do that, the markers on the eggs. Yes. Did you do anything Easter-ish, folks? Oh, Julie thought it was uh, paint your, uh, paint, paint, paint your, what is it? Paint your cookie, paint. Oh, my brain is frozen, seriously. I've been up since 3 a.m. Did anybody else wake up to snow? I woke up to snow. Oh, don't even. Yes, I believe this is 1.5, 1, 1. right, PME? Yes, it is. Yes, Kathy. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And so this is one of the reasons I love my airbrush, because you see I'm saving so much time. I'm not mixing all these colors. I'm able to add all my colors, and I know exact. I'm still having fun piping, you know? And my design is repeated exactly. Oh, Mary, Mary Jean, so you know how I feel. Yes, it's so hard. Paint your own cookie. Yes, thank you, Heather. <laughs> I couldn't. Yes. So uh, Heather says when she tries to use a small tip, she it always clogs up. Do you have any? And even with PME, even with one point five, Heather, or is it? smaller tips well one suggestion would be are you sifting your sugar before you make your batch mm -hmm. that could be potentially an easy fix as as a possible solution it's not too bad like japan has that in in spain the sugar yeah, is the, the sugar is the, the the worst sugar i've ever worked with but so there, there is a there is a tip that um, you can try and it's gonna sound gross and maybe you already uh, tried it or maybe you heard it. You use a um, brand new pair of uh, nylons and you kind of push the icing through. It's not all the icing that you have to do that with, but if you are trying to do some details that are super fine and you find that your icing is just maybe a little rainy, maybe even not to the touch, but like, but for the for the piping tip, maybe it will clog up. So try to use a nylon. <clears throat> Those are actually magnets that Marlon is using, and they work as little weights. So is this consistency thick? Cassie is asking. No, this is like I'd say like a Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt, yes. I assume you're using this consistency so you avoid pain in your wrist because the opening on a piping tip is so small. Exactly. If it was super, super thick, it will be very hard to push that out and um, there's a lot of piping. That needs and to right now, here. I'm piping far away from myself. When you film videos like we do, we have to kind of like work in a different way so that you guys can actually see what we're doing. I see um people making videos and that's one of the things is often their hand is blocking because they're working like they normally do we have to work completely different so that you guys can actually see what we're doing right that's the point and so i'm working at a super awkward uh, position right now jeremy you need to get your wife uh, some candy that doesn't have any wrappers because um his wife eats her, she kisses and leaves wrappers on the desk and calls it the pile of shame. So without any wrappers, like I'm, I'm actually eating uh, Easter candies without wrappers, so I have no pile of shame. I, have oh. no shame. <laughs> I, I actually am very proud of the pile when I'm done eating. <laughs> no shame. No shame. I, no, I did. I, I do have some with, uh, with wrappers. It's terrible. Yes. That, uh, yeah, this is so gorgeous. Love it. So 
So if you want to practice your piping, well, this is great because you can focus on piping and not focus on where stuff's supposed to go. Because that can be like, you know what I mean? You're like, oh, where was I supposed to put this thing or this line this way? It's all kind of um, like a backwards coloring page, if you will. Right? Yes. You're adding the... You don't have to worry. You can't be sad. You don't have to worry about color bleed when you're doing it this way. Yeah. Excuse me. So another thing that I've done in the past and I've tried and I don't recommend is spraying with shellac. If any of you uh, like the P that PME um, glaze, it does not work very nicely on top of an airbrushed surface. Not ideal. Oh, the glaze um, doesn't work? It causes it to kind of like, um, it's like moisture on the airbrush and it makes it look really, like it, it, it damages it. The, the, uh, are, are the airbrush designs losing sharpness? You would say like the edges are kind of becoming like feathered almost? Yeah, but also yes, absolutely yes. But it's also the, um, the actual like area not okay. just like the perimeter so um denise is asking she loves it it's perfect where is the cutter from everyone loved the bunny cookies and hanya cookie recipe lots of uh, lemon was a huge success that's fantastic thank you now marlene she hand cut this can you believe it i mean it looks so perfect she actually hand cut this i don't have a uh, sugar-free cookie recipe. Maybe it's something I should consider. Um, there are um, a lot of, we talked about sugar substitutes, right? Right, a long time ago. Maybe I can. Well, the thing is, if we can just say though, yes, you can maybe get a sugar-free cookie, but it'll be very difficult to get a sugar-free icing. So I don't know what the dietary restriction is, but royal icing without sugar will be tricky to do. There's, right. some, there's the, uh, I don't know the name of all the, all the ingredients now, but there are some that I suppose could work, but it's probably, uh, then even though it's realizing, let's say, I don't think it behaves the same, you know, in all aspects, mm -hmm. aspects. So thank you, Claudia. Carol loves the splatter section. Uh, which makes it look, oh, there you're right. It makes it look uh, more like a real eye. It's mesmerizing. Sally's piping goals. So let's say you're piping and, it, and your line isn't nice. Let the line dry. Don't try to scrape it off while it's wet when you scrape it off after it's dry and when i say dry i don't mean necessarily overnight i just mean like you know 20 minutes it'll chip off as opposed to smearing off so ideally you're waiting a little bit before you get it off and then you can use your little boo-boo stick a spatula and just kind of chip it off Elizabeth is asking, uh, would you use cornstarch before heat sealing these in the poly bag or in the bag? Cornstarch. Well, the thing is, is this black line actually keeps the plastic from touching the surface. So you can give it a little dusting if you want. But because there are so many crevices, you might end up with like some of the cornstarch stuck, so it's up to you. But I think that that royal ice thing is is giving you enough of a little bit of a of a lift, you know, for the thing not to touch. There's confectioner Splenda. I didn't know. I um, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not a fan of Splenda. Um, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It's not very healthy. So you can uh, decide I, how many dots and lines you want to do. Oh, here it is. This is so gorgeous. I'm in love with this. So, uh, um, 
Um, can't see the comment. No. I somehow forgot. Sandy. So um, I wonder how much food coloring have you added to your fondant? And was it marshmallow fondant? Marshmallow fondant, it, it's, it takes a long time to dry. So I would recommend using a little bit of Tylos powder that helps to kind of like stabilize it a little bit and it dries faster. This is breathtakingly beautiful. Thank you. I'm afraid a bit beyond my skill level. No, don't say that, Sally. You can do it. You can do it. Tomorrow I'm expecting a picture. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is the product. Powdered erythritol. What is it? Erythritol. Yes, there is. Um, this is the, the sugar free product. And there is another one. Mock, is it? I'm going to say something silly. Is it the mock fruit or? Monk fruit or something. Oh, the monk. The yes. monk fruit. Yes. So I'm so just gonna. Just asking, do you get um, better results with an all-in-one silk screen pattern, or would you, with a plastic stencil with some silk screen material over the top, work just as well? Well, first of all, the silk screen stencils, the majority, like I mentioned, are. Um, really designed for cake. And so you're not gonna get the very cookie kind of designs that are on the market that are sized for cookies. You're not gonna find the same variety of design. There's a girl on Etsy that sells silk screen for cookies, but I think she's in Australia. So the shipping can be a little bit expensive. And when you lay a silk screen, just a mesh on top of your stencil, we discussed that a few lives ago, it seems to create like a barrier and, and block some of the color from getting to your cookie. And so you're using a lot more product and then you're often blind from what you're actually doing because the color rests on the silk, the screen, and you can't see the cookie underneath, you know? So you can't create shading. You, can't, you don't know where you're actually like hitting. So that can be a little bit of an issue. If, if you're better to just use the stencil plane and just try to be, you know, directly above so that you don't get the, the, the mist underneath this. If you're shooting from the top, you shouldn't get under spray and slow and build instead of like a super heavy pull and then you get like a really heavy amount of, of color, you know? So that's my yes, suggestion. I mean, there has to be some extensive testing i think with the sugar-free recipes because it takes you know a while to to test with different uh sugars right it's difficult i think for someone with uh, who is diabetic it's so difficult right what are you what's the well jeremy's saying i sound drunk where is that I'm at, i don't see all the comments um, I'm at the bottom. I uh, he's saying my like my audio is a little bit delayed. So um, I'm sorry I can't read this uh, oh. font. But you're asking about a uh, royal icing recipe. Han, put your blog up. Han has it all written out for you. If you need to use maybe a translator, you can um, you know go get the recipe. And put it there in are it. also recipes. I don't know where you are if you don't have access to meringue powder. Meringue powder is a dry form. It's basically um, uh, powder mix con that contains uh, uh, dry egg whites, uh, cream of tartar, and other uh, stabilized. But don't you have a recipe with? But I also have a fresh egg white. Yeah, if if you have access to fresh egg whites, you can use that also to make real icing, and that is on my blog hanyelas.com. So my suggestion, uh, Elisa, okay, for this particular thing is airbrush that stencil on a piece of paper, okay, on photocopy paper, on printer paper, and then cut out with an exacto. It doesn't have to be precise now. Cut out. Now you're going to be creating a shield of protection. So cut out in whole what you want to receive color, okay? And you could do it if you're doing two, start with two colors. And so when you put your pencil down on the cookie, then you'll rest your 
openings onto the stencil and then you can shoot, let's say flowers, or you cut out like just general holes where the flowers are, then you shoot your flowers, then you move that protection paper and you move over your leaf protection that again has general holes, doesn't have to be precise, you're just generally cutting where the, the, the detailed stencil is underneath and then you'll be able to have these protections so that you can do the two colors quickly and have everything kind of more polished. And you do that, like I say, you airbrush on paper and then you can just one night, you know you want to do it, you quickly cut out those holes where the flowers are and you'll be able to have a really like polished um, two layer quickly without having you know to buy the multiple stencils. So here, Carol, oh, a sugar-free recipe yes, there. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, um, Jeremy. Heather has been having a hard time finding the meringue powder for a few months. Wow, where are you, Heather? It's, yeah, where are you? If that's, some, if, if that's your business, it's terrible to have that problem. So Sandy, if you go coffee, uh, we have a coffee shop, and that's where I put my down, downloadable supply list, and they're free. If you go here, let me find the, um, yeah, there it is, I was just putting it up. And if you go there, you'll, do we have one that's, it's this one here. So there's the coffee shop, okay? And you can download the supply list. It's maybe two, three posts back. This month I only did airbrush and you'll be able to find that. It's a PDF document and you can click on it and it'll take you to it, okay? Um, and you can find meringue powder. That's uh, maybe it's just being delayed. Maybe I would reach out to um, to a manager who is in charge in a store and maybe find out like whether it's the logistics of you know sorts. Yeah, dear things are also for you know. Well, I mean, you can. I, I think you can order online. So oh, Ted, okay. I don't recommend. Um, um, you can just let them thaw out a little bit. It's because the icing needs to dry. And so if you have a frozen cookie, well, that's moisture in there. And so that's more what's going to, you know, might delay your drying process and things like that. And usually a, a cookie on the counter thaws out very quickly. So it's not like you have to wait a really long time. Maybe try, uh, uh, Heather, if you can. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes, like if you are looking for a, you know, if you have fifty percent off with Michaels, it's like it's sometimes, yes, it, it's pretty expensive if you're buying it without a discount. Yes. And sometimes, if you Google in your area, most places have like walk-in restaurant bulk stores for yeah. restaurants to buy their things, and uh, I'm sure that like that's a common and product. Who that's common. knows if you have a bakery close by, you could also. You are in a pinch hey you know i have this whatever like can you do you have a right powder can i buy some of you what's the worst that can happen they will say no right yeah so so denise there is no issue with that use it if, if, if it's working well for us it's about it being shelf stable and it's on it doesn't spoil it's dry it's there we make so much of it and i've and been using fresh egg whites before and it it's fine. It's fine. It like, but but of course, make sure that you are getting it from a credible source. You don't want to risk, you know, having someone uh, being infected with someone or anything like that. But mm -hmm. so, um, if you're in the United States, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can order directly from Wilton. Yes. 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 Okay. So maybe check that out. I mean, I'd like to think the people who make it have a priority on their um, inventory. You could also look for the dry egg whites and make your own kind of a meringue, meringue powder. Because if you look on the, the ingredients, it doesn't really have a lot of, you know, ingredients that you, you can really find separately. <laughs> Cartoon eggs might taste funny. <laughs> The energy order directly from Wilton. So that's, I think, your check out their site. You know, sometimes we forget that we can buy directly. Buy directly. Hopefully, they are not you're on their site. Maybe check out the cookie cutters. So I don't know. Just maybe. Something new they have. There are, yes, videos on pasteurizing, pasteurizing egg whites. It's very difficult. 
uh, but if to, you're using to really, to really pasteurize the egg to really because you have to hold the temperature of the, of, a, of an egg for so for for a long time to be really truly pasteurized egg yeah. once, I, think. It's, I don't think it's that easy Ted. I think she's but maybe but I may be wrong but I don't think it's that easy to really yeah. like do it, do it properly you know well, I think she's mentioning like the egg whites that are already pasteurized in a in a in a little. Oh, in a carton, yes. Yeah. They have them also here. I haven't tried them, but uh, liquid egg whites, pasteurized egg whites, I guess, liquid egg whites. They uh, you can make real icing, but it it the real icing made with the pasteurized liquid egg whites it tends to bleed a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, there is a little bit of bleeding issue, but yeah, if you know, maybe if you avoid certain colors, colors, dark colors, it would be fine. Um, I guess we could. I haven't even thought of that. That might be our next month's theme. Okay, so I'm just gonna because the time is a ticking, and I'm just gonna show you guys quickly this little next thing. So this here is uh, white cookies, and so if you're going to be airbrushing and you're a beginner. Um, it's, I think, nice to add a lot of texture. And if you take, let me zoom in on these cookies here. And you can see this is supposed to be water and waves. And this one here is a mermaid tail. And you can see, look at all the, the scales and the back. So they, they go kind of like this over each other, you see? And so you can um, add your airbrushing to the surface of the, of the cookie. Now, all colors are not created equal. Blue is one of the colors that I find color, you know, people say, how do you get your black, black? How do you get your red, red? Well, blue is blue, boom. It's like you put a drop of blue and it's, it's like very, very blue. So if you have trouble with your airbrush being a light blue, I suggest that you dilute it with a little bit of alcohol so that your color, if you want to get like baby blue, soft, you know, tones, use Oh, yes. There are different shades of blue now. I have royal and sky blue. Yes. Sky blue is the same as royal blue. It's boom blue. <laughs> it's never going to be that pastel. Oh, did you say boom, boom blue? Boom blue. Boom blue. Okay, guys. So it's the kitchen sink black and boom blue. Love You're it. not going to get that really soft kind of like, oh. you know. Oh, there, it was lumpy. Well, yeah, I guess, yeah. Jeremy says he tried using pasteurized egg whites and the icing was kind of lumpy. So I'm hitting the side mm -hmm. here just barely. And if you're hitting from the side, look, I'm hitting, I'm kind of like really at an angle. And my lines are here. So I'm I'm able to kind of like hit, like you see like that from the side. And you can kind of like shoot onto the, onto the cookie. How much would you yeah. use to leave the color? How then? much? How, how much I guess alcohol oh, I, didn't, I, I didn't this is this is pure out of the bottle but you want to dilute it you can test on a paper towel to see how your colors are looking would, would using you, white work also or no 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 you're better to dilute it mm -hmm. and have a more kind of less concentrated color mm -hmm. than um than adding white white does not it's not like the ideal kind of thing so once you have it like this, you can actually even also at this point, you can come in and add the alcohol with the paintbrush and, you know, kind of have more of a watercolor effect. But you can see here, you're getting like really like, and then this here, if it, you don't like it, well, you can hide it with the tail. What color do I have here? I'm not equipped to do a lot of uh, experiments. See, this one here is the one that was sitting earlier. You have pink, pink, and blue, and make purple. See, because this is working in. But that. there's like little fishes in there. That's okay. Yeah. Or little something. So in my mind, this particular design was going to have like the lines here painted in gold. You see. And then you have, so let me try again with this. So I'm just going to hit the, the tail gently, like a very small amount. And then you can go a little bit darker here. And then if you hit from the top, you see it's not, the color is only getting to the edge of the, of the scale. Yes. 
Love it. So Mary Jane is asking, how do you fix the spitting of the airbrush gun? Uh, it's dirty. And so that's what's causing that. It's like my colors dry from sitting down on my counter. So that's why it's spitting. So the, there, it's like it's it's obstructed here inside there. So I need to clean it out, run hot water through it, and then it'll stop doing that. But right now I'm, I'm uh, you know, it's not the ideal circumstance to be rectifying problems. So that's why. And, uh, I guess, I don't know if this is a question, that's drinking alcohol like vodka or extract, not rubbing alcohol. Thank you, Heather. Yes, now rubbing alcohol. Drink yeah. stuff that's not, uh, put stuff on your cookies that's not toxic, ideally. So, there we go. You can see you have your colors. When you layer multiple colors, you see? Gorgeous. I think that if you've looked at the watercolor kind of technique and stuff, that can get a little tricky. The airbrushing is a lot kind of easier to... Um, create like dimensional color, you know, then when you're putting on a watercolor, sometimes it can be tricky to um, really get like specific as to where you want color. When you add the, uh, the, more, the water, the alcohol to your cookie roll icing, then it bleeds and stuff, whereas the airbrush doesn't do that and it's dry instantly. So in this particular case, you could paint a few of the scales in gold, the edge of the tail, these lines here could be gold. You could really like, you know, get fancy. And then here you could do little, little, little accent cookies. Oh, thank little. you, Heather. That's much appreciated. So oh, here I'm doing a little, a little pink, and then you can go a little darker in the middle. You see, there's a little, a little starfish for our little scene. Here's a fish. Colors here. Oh, is this what's this color? Okay. This is not a fish color, is it? Yes. Is it? This this miniature fish. How cute. Let's give them some lipstick. <laughs> there. You see, you can create a little scene. And then I don't have any here, but you could add just pearl onto your seashells. Oh, I love that. So Denise, she uses vodka. No, it's usually sitting on the counter. So yes, people start to talk. Yes, when they come. Would it be okay to put it in the airbrush? Yeah. I put it in to dilute my colors. So that's what I use to dilute my colors. There's a new product. Is it any vodka? I mean, there are so many different. I use just high proof alcohol. Okay. Myself. Hi, June. June says very cute. And Such so here's the rock. You see, it's already not spitting because I, like it's already slowed down the spitting because I did put water in it. So it's a it's a perfect for someone on a diet. It's such a cute little cookie. Yes, so yes. perfect. So cute. Little I seed. hid the end of the tail with the rocks, and then you see you can kind of glue on your other little bits, and you have like a little. And you can, like I say, add gold to the tail, to the background, to the certain little elements. Use a marker to add the eyes, but it's like a different way to create. Um, you know, a different kind of look. Here's a different version of a different like style, but this is a rainbow, you see? And so I made a stencil to fit my, um, this is a cutter by Sweet Sugar Bell. It's basically a, like, I guess it's a rainbow cutter and I franken cookie a cloud into I, it. It, it, it. It looks like a tombstone, no? And so she has all kinds of like just random shapes. I don't think it's a tombstone per se, it's just kind of like an oval with a straight line. She has a lot of like shape cookies, you know? And so she, that's her thing, right? The shape shifters. So they're shapes that can go for other things. I use the stuff for quite a lot of different like things. 
So hey guys, if you are just joining us, Marlene today, she actually did two projects, believe it or not. She's so amazing. So can you show us your first project for today that you did? Beautifully yeah. decorated. My brown to add some shading before I finish, and then we'll see if I'm gonna wreck it. But I find that brown used in shading can sometimes just ruin a project, but I'm gonna is there a library version of there is every color that Americolor sells they have in in airbrush, um, in airbrush tones. Yeah, tones. But not all of them. If you are purchasing a set, right? You when you purchase a set, you get the basic colors and then yeah. you I, but they have they have 50 piece sets. Oh, do they? Wow. Yes. So that's see the cool. rock? That's a big set. And then but for the morning small, right? six or 12 bottles you won't get all the colors obviously you will get the basic colors yeah exactly i love this this cookie i absolutely love i don't know there's just something peaceful about it so you can just like layer your your tones. I think that if it, if it had a little bit of metallic, it really would bring it to life. So there, kind of the scene. Beautiful. And the other cookie you wanted me to bring it back. Here yes. it is. Just for the folks who are just joining us, so you can, if you would like to see how she did, how Marlin did this cookie, you can, um, you can. Um, Rewatch or re watch the replay of this live on our channels. So that's it. Like you can practice with your airbrush, like these white cookies with texture, whatever cookie you want to do, and practice, you know, hitting from the slide from the top to achieve the different like tones. And then the layered stencils, like I say, you can take a one color stencil and create a little shield with just a photocopy paper and you'll be able to do two color stencils like quickly kind of a makeshift thing if you want so to do keep in mind Marley said you can hit it from the side but that is with the cookie that is not being stenciled if you're stenciling you want to write is that right yeah. if you're stenciling you want to go uh from above when you so when I say, you yes do. absolutely like when i say from the side what happens here well look at all the texture on this tail so if I'm hit, you see here, I hit on the side, the color never even made it over here because this blocked it. So when you have these textured surfaces, it's easy to, you know, like, look, as I move it, you're seeing all kinds of colors. That's because I hit the blue from the top. I hit the yellow over here. And so it, 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 it attaches to, you know, the direction that it was hitting. So it's a fun way to get like these. And here, if I was to hit this with pearl, it would kind of look like a seashell kind of surface, right? So Heather has a good question. Do they make make metallic airbrush colors? Or they you do. Like this particular brand is probably one of the best affordable because they they can get very pricey. This particular brand is, um, it's called Magic Colors not a lot of people sell that particular brand and it it's very good for an airbrush um product they sell practically every color in metallic they do their theirs is very good so the thing like i had mentioned in a previous live i work with my needle exposed you see the needle is out i don't ever cover that up because when you work in metallics there are microscopic particles in there that clog your thing so i am able to access the needle and pull it back and it'll release the clog and then i can proceed to working so i always have my needle exposed so that i can work and sometimes even if i'm working with something that i is kind of on the thick side i will actually pump the needle to push the product out if i want to do let's say a thicker coverage of the gold or something or let's say i mix up gold with um with alcohol, like a luster dust type product, that can sometimes, you know, be problematic and clog your airbrush. But if you pump the, the needle 
the color comes out like you're basically forcing it out with the needle you're ex you're widening the hole as you pull back the needle and then when you push the needle back in or you're pumping out the the product how did i get the texture on the tail well i'm going to be editing a video for this particular prod project i have them there i just have to for edit like it's probably going to be for may i'm going to release a video of all that so it's all it's just different icing consistencies that you get texture thank you denise, thank you, denise. we're we're always just trying to get you guys motivated and inspired to try try things yourself i mean we're not um we're just like you we're just we just practice a lot and are you know wanting to try different things and hopefully saving you guys a little bit of, of the painful um fails right sometimes you try stuff and it doesn't always work and it can be very frustrating yes for today um, so that will be nothing really happens right yeah, well, exactly. This isn't skydiving, like I say. So this is the last airbrush. Not that I'm never going to use my airbrush again, but the last airbrush for this month. And then on, um, where's that calendar again? I'm going to be working. Uh, let's, see, let's bring up the calendar. So we have a calendar here. So on, now today is the 19th, if I remember correctly. 20 yes, seconds. Yes. Oh, today is not 19th? It is 19th. Okay. Yes. Um, Friday, um, I will be with Amber of Sweet M's here. And, and Amber in the hot seat. I think Amber, yes, agreed. Amber is going to be in the hot seat. And on 26, I will be using, um, we'll be creating uh, some felt texture with a medium that you guys can make home with uh, like a sugar medium. And then on 29th, guys, if you still uh, would like to join us, for Marlin's mini class during the live, you can, and you can find all the details in our Patreon groups. And it then sure has, Heather. It sure has flown by. And yes, I, I mean it's amazing. It's we are in May, and May it's a beautiful month. Here already, cherries are blooming. Today I uh, spotted a cherry. I sent you a picture. It's so gorgeous. I nearly passed it by without noticing it, but then I noticed it and I was like, wow, the sky was blue. So I just, you know. What do they say? Stop and smell the roses? Yeah, well, yes. But I actually found that here locally, uh, after a little bit of research, there is a big uh, cherry valley that is considered to be one of the most beautiful here in Spain. So hopefully I'm going to have to do some research before. Oh, you're, you're going to have to go into the lake. Lake. It's, it's going to it's, it's very short yes it's a very short uh, time frame that we can kind of like go before exactly. they go and if it rains uh, that's over rains. in a second yes so thanks thank for ahead. joining us yes thanks so much for joining us guys if you enjoy our lessons you can check out our patreon groups that's when um you pay a small amount and get access to our more in-depth lessons and it supports us and it allows us to continue to make these live streams and tutorials for you guys so check it out thanks so much for joining us today thank you. good luck journey with that thank you bye guys where's our picture where's the picture where's the picture there it is bye everybody <laughs> <laughs>